Hello, welcome to Win Some Loose More. My name is Dieter, and you join me in the coronavirus pandemic uh, that is happening across the world right now. The UK and many other countries are in lockdown, um, and so it's provided us, yes, a good time to to play games those of us that are safe and healthy to do so uh, but it's also challenged us to try and play them in different ways now a lot of people including myself our game group now has moved to to an online digital platform for how we gather and play games yes if you live with people you can still play physical games with them and we've done that um, but a lot of gaming now has by necessity shifted to online and so what I wanted to talk about today is the games that I've played and experienced in the last few weeks and really kind of look at the digital experience versus the physical experience and games that are better in one or the other and maybe a couple of reasons why I was the recipient of some incredible gratitude uh, I was gifted um, kind of the, the the license the rights the codes to to a few games that they'd bought, not played, not wanted, and just gave to me. And so incredibly grateful for that. Anyone else wants to be that generous? Let me know. Um, so I've got to try out way more games than I thought I would. I just want to talk about a few of them, uh, ones I've played, ones I've heard from other people that have worked really well or not. And the first thing I want to talk about, because this is the game that we're playing most often. Uh, my group tends to love Midweight Euros, um, or a little bit of combat, that kind of thing. So Scythe is one of my favorite games personally, and Scythe seems to have become the game that my group plays most now we're online. We didn't play it that often in physical because there's lots of games to try, but in terms of digital platform, we're playing a lot of Scythe. It's, it's pretty much every week. Um, and it's good, it works well. It, it has everything you want, Yes, you need to get your head around a little bit where is all the information stored if you're trying to um, do that. We've had to teach a couple of people the game. And so it's here's the information, but actually where to find it. It took us a couple of plays to really get our heads around it and then to be able to teach it to others. Now, this is one that if you've never played Scythe, it works well. There's a tutorial, it works. Um, but I still prefer the physical iteration of this. I like the tactile experience. I like being able to sit there and plan my turns and see my board and see other people's boards if i'm honest at going they're good at this they're good at this okay so i'm going to go for it. it helps you just develop your strategy as the game goes along which you can't really do in the digital version you can see your own stuff whenever you like um, but you have to find it as opposed to just have a look at everything you have to go well if i want to see what my mechs do i have to click on this to read that and then what my secret it's a good compromise, it works well, it's a good game. If you want it, go buy it, it's great. Um, it was recently on sale on Steam, I don't know if it still is, probably not now. Um, but if you find it for a good price, it is worth it and you can play with random people online or you can create rooms or just play against the the, uh, the AI, the computers itself. So it works well. Scythe is a good one. I just prefer the physical tactile nature of the actual game. Uh, two that I have tried uh, digitally that I would hesitate to try in the physical world not because they're bad games but because I think the digital version just solves some stuff this is Sentinels of the Multiverse which is a cooperative comic book style but they've created their own it's not based in any existing comics um, your group of heroes trying to take down the bad guy and the 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 app the game uh, just does a lot of the upkeep for you. There's a lot of components if you look at the um, the physical version. There's a lot of status things that you need to know. There's the environment that you need to be aware of and how does everything interact. And there's a lot to think about, a lot to know that the digital version just presents you and just does for you. And you just click, I want to do this action on that person. Great. How much damage? This is all you're going to do. This is going to be the outcome. Great. Do it. It just streamlines and simplifies a lot of that thinking that for me, particularly if I had now had to learn the game, I would struggle with. And this, yes, it has a relatively good tutor tutorial system. Um, but then the gameplay itself, it just gives you the little hints. It just clarifies that you want to do this thing and just takes care of some of the maths for you. So yeah, it, it works well on digital. I'd recommend it. If you're looking for a cooperative game or a solo game, it works well. Um, a lot of variability. There's a few different villains, a few different environments is one of the decks and a good number of heroes that you choose a few of to see how they interact. So it's a good system, but I think I would be hesitant to try it 
um, with the physical copy just because there's a lot of upkeep and for the same reason through the ages very popular card civilization game the tutorial system on the digital is amazing it is truly amazing there's they've made it a little bit funny like bad humor but intentionally so um, it's whimsical it's it's fun it's accessible it's inviting into what is a dense hard strategic game that I still have lost every time that I've played after the tutorial and still forget stuff and still can't get my head around but I can just go back to the tutorial and just go oh yes this is this this is this this is this it takes a little time to get through that tutorial but again upkeep in the game it just solves all of that for you it condenses a three hour game really because of all that upkeep into an hour hour and a half so it's much more it's something I want to sit down and just just while away a little bit of time on as opposed to man I'm going to be here all afternoon kind of thing so through the ages for similar reasons that upkeep is handled by the digital version and then the tutorial system is is the best that I've come across one that I've heard about um, but haven't actually tried myself is the digital version of Ticket to Ride. I was speaking to one of my brothers um, a couple of days ago and he said they've got it on their app and it gives them the same experience as the physical game does when they're playing just the two of them. And so they can either set the app up, uh, the, the their tablet up in the middle of the table and play like that or do the, the pass and play. So you can be doing something else at the same time or not, you can just be there on your turn then waiting and thinking about what you're going to do yes you lose some of that i can see my cards the whole time and plan my next turn but according to them and it comes with a few um you can easily buy all the maps and it's not buying a whole massive expansion you're spending a couple of quid on an extra uh, dlc essentially uh, and it gives them that same experience as i say that's one i've tried physically we've got new york we've tried um, UK, um, not UK, sorry, Europe and America. Um, but we haven't tried the app, so I can't say for myself, but I've heard good report that if you want that same experience and you want to save a bit of money, um, it's significantly cheaper. Ticket to Ride is a good one to check out. Uh, I've played a few others than that, but that's all I'll talk about for now. Maybe Star Realms, actually, and card games in general, I think work really well, deck builders specifically. Um, Star Realms is a small one-on-one -on -one deck builder. We've played Dominion online uh, and it works really well. It just does that shuffling for you again. It reminds you, oh, you want to end your turn, but you actually haven't taken this action, are you sure? And so you can be reminded or it just works really well. Um, card games generally, I spoke about in, uh, I did a top picks of uh, apps um, video before. And again, uh, Ascension, another uh, deck builders popped up on that and I still think that's true uh, it saves the setup because it just shuffles it all for you sets it all up for you they're not difficult setups in real life but they're good so they are ones that I would play probably equally um, I would still happily go play them all in in physical form when we're allowed um, but the digital versions give me pretty much the same experience and just takes care of some of that shuffling I like shuffling personally so I'm not saying hooray it finally solves this issue that i have to shuffle cards because not an issue but definitely ones to check out deck builders generally are good games and there's good examples on digital platforms that you can play for free which is great star realms is free on steam and dominion has its own website where you just play for free so it's great if you know of any others that you've tried either you've preferred the digital version that you've now played go oh yes this actually enables me to play it or actually the digital version isn't very good i can't wait to play the physical version again or games what i'd really love to hear is games that go i love playing them in physical and now i get to still play them and enjoy them at the same amount that gives me the same experience i would love to find more of those games so do put them down in the comments below uh, if you find this interesting or you have any other suggestions, you want to see more of what we do, consider subscribing to the channel so you stay updated. Hit the bell icon and follow us on social media. We're on the usual outlets. Just search Win Some Loose More and you are bound to find us. Thank you very much. I hope you're staying safe and staying healthy and playing as many games as you can in this time. I hope to see you again. I've been Dieter for Win Some Loose More. Goodbye.